There she is, the Angel of the North. And here we are. <laughs> Welcome. I thought, I thought there's angels looking after Rusty. Oh, here. I'm telling you. Welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. It is the drive down for Manchester City versus Newcastle United at the Etihad. I'm sure if you asked everybody who was at Wembley last week, if there was one place in the whole world you didn't want to be the week after, it would be Manchester. But we're on our way. <laughs> um, Lee, I always say this when we play Man City away, it's the toughest game of the season on paper. Man City away, it's always going to be very, very difficult. We haven't beaten Manchester City at the Etihad or the City of Manchester Stadium, whatever you want to call it, in the Premier League era. Only one win in the League Cup. Rolando Ahrens, remember him? Exactly, Rolando Ahrens. And who was the other goal scorer that night, do you remember? Yes, I think it might have been over time. Tell us in the comments if we're wrong, but... Uh, it's an awful lineup. Though. It was a very, very... Um, well, it was a weakened lineup to say the least, but... Man City, Lee. Did Newcastle have any chance today? <laughs> uh, well, while we're going... Why we're going down then? Uh, look, we're going doing a hope, that's the thing, isn't it? But if you look back early on the season, it was free flow at 3-3. Newcastle should have really went on to win that because we're 3-1 up but look if, you, if you're offering us a draw right now Johnny I'm going to snatch at that I know we're draw castle but Brentford have got that time off us now I just think it's a bonus point of the day because City are on another level at that ground so it's a it's a very very tough ask today and you've got to ask three four year players to have eight nines today because last week against Man United a lot of them were fives and sixes so there could be some changes and hopefully it anyhow freshens it up yeah, you do hope so, and I think Eddie Howe said in his press match, uh, pre-match press conference, the uh, the Alexander Isaac Anthony Gordon partnership is that something that excites you as a Newcastle United fan? Yes, and I also think Gordon will track back. So in the live video that I did yesterday, that's the only reason why I dropped Alex at maximum back to the bench. I know he played phenomenal. We interviewed him. Next day, he goes and gets a hat of assists. But away from home, I'd rather have Gordon on that side and play Gordon in his proposition. Give him an hour, give him 75 minutes. You'll know he'll track back. Again, there's questions around Dan Byrne as well. He's been a little bit off the boil with his truck Matty Target in. I don't think this is necessarily the game for Matty Target, confidence wise. But at least give Matty Target half an hour, 25 minutes or so later on that game to go attacking down that left side. But I would start Isaac going back to your question, yeah. Um, he's a ball carrier for whatever reason. Callum Wilson's suffering. I think the team's suffering, not just because of Callum Wilson. It's ticky tacky around the box, I don't like it. Yeah. Get crosses in, stop fucking around around the edge of the box, shoot on sight, because we're going to have to take our chances today. We're certainly on them. We're going to have to play like Almiron today. A little subplot between Miggy Almiron and Jack Grealish. Um, Obviously, Jack Grealish didn't play against Newcastle at St James's Park. He was injured, so that might be a bit interesting, a bit tasty, um, to say the least. But look, let's just hope that Newcastle can get something today. Anything will be a bonus. Of course, if you look at the terms of the Champions League side of things, Spurs play Wolves at three o'clock. Liverpool play Manchester United tomorrow. So they're the kind of the two teams going to have to keep an eye out in terms of this top four race. Uh, quick prediction. Well, I'm assuming Spurs will get something at Wolves. So, but well, I think we will get. My head see is a point, but my heart is telling me realistically looking at the, the form of Newcastle we'll go down today. But if we go down today, we need a performance. I think the fans are owed that. I didn't think the lads really showed up last week. I know Eddie Howe said that we've been playing well. It's been parts, but I think it was average performance last week in the big the big time and nobody really stood out. So I'll say 2-1 City. Um, sorry to be negative. Well, I'm going to be positive. 1-1. 1-1. Uh, <laughs> one, one. Nick Pope back in goal. Going to, be, going to have an absolute worldly. But we'll see how we get on. Remember, we'll have all the videos from the Etihad this afternoon for Newcastle United's game. Get in the comments what you think the team will be. Would you like to see Isaac and Gordon start? And what will your predictions be for this lunchtime kickoff? From me and Lee, we'll see you all later this afternoon.